Uh, we have a question in on Instagram from Chloe Bugs for our next guest. Yeah. Brenna Chase of BYU Women's Basketball. One of the Splash Sisters. Brenna, welcome to the set. What's up? Thanks for having me, guys. How, how are you uh, enjoying Tennessee and the humidity here? It's amazing. It feels so nice out here. The breeze is amazing. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it, is, it is a tender mercy. <laughs> and, and how's the reception been up the hill now? Oh, great. Everybody's so nice, and it's it's nice to have a lot of fans here. I feel like a lot of women's basketball fans up here. So. Well, you made a lot of fans because of what your team did, and uh, you specifically did in the West Coast Conference Tournament and in the NCAA Tournament. Now, Chloe Bugs on Instagram asks you this, Brenna. Will Brenna Chase make the most three-point shots of any player in 2019-2020? I mean, I hope so, but there's a lot of competition up there, so we'll see. Okay, you made 88, which was more than Shaylee Gonzalez with 54 and 51 with Paisley. I have a feeling those two want to take more threes next year, though. Is that yeah, okay with you? I mean, I hope they do. <laughs> <laughs> you shot 250. Yeah. That, that, was, uh, that was almost 100 more than both of them. You want to keep that going? You're yes. like, hey, I'm the senior. Yes. I got to shoot. Like, give me my. I'll shoot when I'm open if there, I'm open. That's a good answer. <laughs> that's a good answer. Have you come down from the high of last year? Because you guys really took BYU or Cougar Nation by storm and People rallied around your team, and, and you win the WCC title, and you win in Spokane, and you win a game in the tourney, and you, you play a great game with Stanford. That was a very memorable season. How have you kept that momentum going? Um, I think that we all just weren't satisfied, and so we want to do more next year. So, yeah, we're, we're still on that high from last season, but we want to bring it into this season and make it even more special. How do you do that? Um, I think we do that by, well, our team is so young, so now that they have experience under their belt, I think it helps a lot. But Jetty's a great coach, and I know that this year, you know, he's going to prepare us even better. And this offseason, we're going to work even harder than we ever have just to kind of get to where we want to be. What did you learn from the Stanford game? And have you rewatched it since you played it? Yeah, I actually watched it for the first time last week. It took me a while because I was kind of upset. Yeah. But um, yeah. we learned a lot from that game. You know, we learned that we can hang with a team like that, but we have to put four quarters together against a team like that. We can't slack at all and I think that third quarter really hurt us against them and so we kind of learned that if we can put four quarters together against a team like that we can do something really amazing. One of the keys to getting through that second game is just being a great seed so you play a team that's worse right mm -hmm. so um, this team was a seven seed tying the highest seed ever do you want the schedule to be tougher so that you're maybe in a position to be a higher seed? Yeah, and um, I'm pretty sure this next year's schedule is a lot tougher, so it's exciting to kind of see who we play in the preseason. hasn't come out yet, but um, we've heard a couple names, which is exciting, and I know that we can have a better RPI this year, which can give us a better seed. You right. know you could come back here, right, and play Tennessee and Vanderbilt? That would be awesome. Tennessee would be, totally would be legit, right? Yeah. <laughs> hey, the, the Splash Sisters would welcome that, right? Yes, they of would. Course. Do you like that nickname? Is that the official nickname of I the trio? I guess so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shaley, Shaley put that out there, and it stuck, so we'll take it. It has stuck. Jerem's bought into that hard. I love it. Yeah. yeah. Sis does. No question. Yeah. No question. <laughs> Brenna Chase of BYU Women's Basketball with us on BYU Sports Nation. Uh, I know it's not an officially stated goal of the program, but it, we all know that to take the next step, you want to be in a position where you have a high enough RPI and see that you could host the first two rounds of the NCAA what, tournament. What is it? Top four seeds? Top four seeds. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. What has to happen? In, in order for BYU to be at that level? Um, we've talked about it a little bit, but definitely that preseason schedule has to be a lot tougher. And then I think another thing for us is we dropped a couple games last season that we shouldn't have dropped, and we can't lose those this year if we want to get that one through four seed. So. And Sarah Hampson is not playing volleyball, right? She's yeah. just going to play basketball, so you'll have her in that first part where maybe you stumbled a little bit, right? Exactly, yeah, and I think it'll be really good for Sarah to grow and progress this summer, to be with us all summer, to kind of focus on her craft, and it'll really help her become a special player next year. Two people gone, Caitlin Aldridge as a senior, Jasmine Moody comes back, mm -hmm. um, but Dan Nielsen to Utah Valley, one of the assistant coaches. Uh, what, do you, what do you want to say about Dan Nielsen going to UVU, and then we don't know the new assistant coach? Yeah, well, um, Dan's great, and I love him. I'm, I'm sad he's leaving, but um, I totally understand why he needed to do this for himself, and I can respect that and be happy for him. And obviously it's, it's a sad thing, but I think it's good for him and his family, so I'm excited for him. And then as far as the new coach, I have no idea. So it'll be interesting to see who Juddy brings in. I'm sure whoever he brings in will be great, and you know, I trust their judgment, so I'm excited. How are you a different player now as you approach your senior season compared to when you were brand new to the program as a freshman? Oh, well, actually, a lot has changed. Um, I feel like definitely confidence-wise, it's gone up. And IQ-wise, I would say I've gotten a lot better because that has been the most important thing 
for me, as far as fitting into Jetty's system, you have to have a really high IQ, and definitely in college sports, it's it's a next level. So, what's taking more of your time, your preparation for next year or for your wedding on August twenty second? <laughs> Um, I'd have to say they're a little even. My mom's helped me a lot with the wedding, so. But definitely have to focus on basketball still. It's exciting to get married, but, um, you know, he wants me to do well, and I want to do well, so I've been in the gym a lot. Tell me there's at some point, at least in, like, one of these photograph shoots, that you're in your wedding dress shooting a three-pointer. This has to happen at some point, right? <laughs> I'll see what I can do. That, yeah, that sounds great. That's awesome. Yeah. Brenda Chase of BYU Women's Basketball with us on BYU Sports Nation. Uh, you lose, Bridgeron brings up Caitlin Aldridge. Who, how do you replace a player like that? Because she was kind of off the radar, and then all of a sudden she was like this integral part of BYU winning a West Coast Conference championship, and now she's done as the graduate transfer of sorts. So how do you replace that? Uh, I think Kate's irreplaceable. You know, she's got a special place in all of our hearts, and she's such a great player and teammate. So it'll be interesting to see who Juddy brings in. I mean, I think... We'll have a couple good players coming in, and it's exciting. And I think Bob Luke can step up, or Signe, or even Jasmine at the four position. And she's got a nice little three-point shot, so hopefully she'll take it a little more. I, I guess I shouldn't call her a graduate transfer. She just had a, a, an extra year of, of eligibility. Yeah, we thought she was a senior, but she has a second year. Yeah, whatever. It's like Zane, where it's like, you're a senior twice. Yeah, yeah. Super, super senior. senior. Yeah. Super senior. I think I was that academically. I don't know, yeah. Brenna, uh, let's give you some BYU Sports Nation karma to survive the summer. It's yeah, going to be crazy. Yeah, that's yeah. exciting. It's, it's going to be crazy. Yeah. Congratulations on everything. We look forward to another fantastic year. Thanks, guys. Appreciate Thanks, it. Brenna.